Hi everyone, this is Gator Gidge. In this video, I'm going to share my reset. I had a fall fireplace set up and now I'm going to share Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone and enjoy and God bless you. Come along with me as we pack fall away. Let's do a little shopping for inspiration and buy a few goodies along the way as we bring in the Christmas holiday. All right, let's step into the house. This is the entry and didn't really set up Her fall in here so we'll continue on into our living room family room we've downsized so this is the only living area we have and this is probably the main area that I staged for fall I kept it simple I also placed some fall candles on the mantle didn't do a whole lot in this area just a little another candle arrangement here with some decorative fall pieces okay so we have it partially open to the dining area. And my husband actually made this pie case. It's a beautiful piece. And another real birdhouse that he made. There's the little turkey to bring in Thanksgiving. Little bit of fall on this vintage desk. Not a whole lot. I only do one bin for fall. Okay, so I'm gonna be um, packing fall away. I'm gonna go get a bin. And my wreaths, all my wreaths go in a separate shower in the closet. All right, I gathered more things to pack for fall.
get my um, ball handle. I'll be back. I'm going to go gather some more things from the entry. I'm not going to record that, but I'll bring those in. All right, as you can see, the holiday that I've gathered from around the house and entry um, really isn't that much. And that's why I go all out for Christmas and keep all my other holidays to a minimum anyway that's what sparks my joy makes me happy i'm going to pack these things away all right so obviously these don't fit in the bin these don't fit in the bin i have a special place in the closet for these and the wreath doesn't go in the bin. And then I have a special bin just for candles. And it's any season of candles. So I'm going to get busy. Alright, I moved into the dining room so I could span and work. I don't have a lot of items to pack. So this makes it very quick for fall. Unlike Christmas here. Even it's pumpkin spice latte time is will be put away. A bubble wrap for a few items. And that's sometimes you just need to rearrange. And that's okay because this thing's these handles are a little tall. And there we go. These pillows, they they fit in any little nook and cranny. So I have um, to wrap this. This is a was a gift from a nice lady that was our neighbor when we lived in Purdy, Missouri. And I just find a spot for it in here. Oh, and I need to put my. I also have to put the glass pumpkin. Excited um, to decorate for Christmas. So this is candy. I don't eat candy. Just get gifts. If you're a school teacher, you get lots of gifts. So I'll find someone to give that to my neighbors, maybe. Alright. Alright, so I carried the bin. I'll show you where I keep 
holiday. I did have to take a few items out. And here's where I pack candles in these little bins here. So I have to put those away. And then my wreath, they get stacked in here. Um, once I pull out a holiday wreath, I did, uh, the other one goes, because I do seasonal. I do uh, spring. Well, I do one for every season. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. And then so you can see Christmas bin, some Christmas decor, Christmas wreath. This is probably another Christmas wreath. I have my tree here in this box, a pink tree there. So uh, this, is, this is where I stack my seasonal signs. And so right there's the space where my fall goes. And here's two Christmas bins here. So this is where I store holiday. A little bit of holiday up there. A piñata and a little ho-ho box. This is what I have to work with. I have really downsized Christmas also. This area here, and I have the I have candles here, a little more decor, and the wreath in that plastic bag. So we'll see how it goes. I also do have a village, but not sure if I'm going to use it this year. Anyways, I'm going to start decorating and I'll show you some progress videos in between. sisters made that for me and I usually like to do pinks and purples all right I was twisting this into place and now I'm ready to put the topper on the top of the tree Before I lift the tree up, I gotta put this little guy on there. There we go. Then you have to fluff the tree. It looks sad right now. <laughs> looks like a very sad tree right now. See, there's the top. I'm at Hobby Lobby going to see what I can find. I do need some fake snow. It's greetings and I need inspiration. Look at that pretty tree. So I'm heading to the floral section because I think I would like to have a, a new wreath. I mean, I have to do these up, but look at that. That's so pretty, the snow. How much is this? Oh my goodness, are they for real? Look at that, guys. $64.99. $64.99. I guess I'll have to make my own. Oh, that 
that's adorable. And that one is $59.99. Got to be kidding. All these beautiful colors. And look at all the look at all the beautiful white. It's like it's snow, silver and gold. And then you got poinsettia sprinkled with snow. And just one of these alone will set you back $10.99, which I usually come and buy flowers here, but I uh, get them when they're on sale. Like, look, right there, 50% off Christmas floral. Let's see what else they have. All right, well, I'm gonna keep looking. So, fabric by the yard. This is the one I want right here. Maybe this one. So, like snow. So, look. They have Dr. Seuss. My classroom is decorated in Dr. Seuss. All of my classrooms. Hmm. We'll see if there's anything I can't live without. But look at the cute little trees. And I have my snow. More festive ideas. Hot cocoa bar. And these really glittery gifts. Okay, here they have 50% off for Christmas decor. In this section, some beautiful trees. And you get all these. And look, that is so adorable for the pink. turn one of my birdhouses into a winter wonderland bird, birdhouse. And look, I have a little pink tree in my cart. All right, so I think I'm gonna add to my tree collection uh, with this little tree here, the BB and the CC, because every time I come, they're out and they still have some. And then I can have a trio. And then I'll just put this pink tree back because I already have a pink tree. All right, everybody, I did use restraint. I bought my snow, cost less in the fabric section. Fabric was on sale 50% off. I mean, 40% off. So I did. Um, paid $9.58 for two yards, which I'll use for snow. And normally it would have been $15.98. Also bought the snow blower. I'll spray some greenery. Um, the 
rates were super expensive. I'll look somewhere else because I think I want a new wreath. Um, I'm done with all the very cute, beautiful, but all these vintage ornaments on it. But I think I want a new wreath. So I also bought me two trees, CC and BB. Normally I come to get more of these and they're always sold out. So I got lucky today. Um, this one, the PB, normally $69.98, I got it for, I paid $34.99, so that's this one, and then the C, normally is $99.98, and I bought it for $49.99, so we'll see how we can put it together, all these will still fit in my closet, uh, the only area that I can keep my festive holiday decor. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, got my little knife here. This is the alpine, alpine tree. up in this one. splinters with that and here's the little stand so I'm going to put those together then I need to figure out where my trees will go Easier. I don't have to twist that one on. So this one, of course, I have to shake all these trees. It takes a little bit of time. if I have to twist or can I just push? Oh, this is going to be one of those hard ones. Okay, so the last time I had to do this just to get it to go in, it was very time consuming. I think the wood is um, expanding the tracks and it's not the expanding section. So I'm going to work on this, but I'll work on it off camera. Hmm. 
Okay, so there's the trio, and I'm gonna work on shaping. So this little one went in easily. This one I had to twist, and this one still has a bit of a gap. So I might need my husband's help. So I'm gonna work on placement now. All right, here's the progress so far. I have the snow and this tree lit up and here's some of the mess that I'm still working on and I am still working on this tree, trying to recreate its shape. And of course, we always have the clutter have the clutter before it gets better. This video was a little longer than I anticipated. Stay tuned for part two, a little more decorating and shopping with Gator Gidge. Ciao, ciao. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.